Hello, hello everyone, this is Shay, and this is day 6 of my vlogs. Now, in my inventory, you can see a few assorted items. Why do I have these items in my inventory, you might ask? Well, it's because I've been training mining, and today I want to show you how I've done it. Now, in my last video, you saw that I had 16 or 18 mining, I believe it was, and today I have 55. Now, as you can see, I've gotten, I've got 168k experience. So I probably got like 160k experience or more from last night, from between last night and today. So that's actually a lot, but it's actually not too bad. So anyways, th I'm going to sh be showing you how I've done it. Now what you, you, uh, what you will be needing is at least level 1 mining, which I think all of us have, unless you're, maybe your account got banhammered. Uh, mining urns, earth runes, skills necklace, charged, you will need a couple of these. Rings and jewelings, charged, you will need a few of these too. And pickaxes that you will need to be going along with. If you're starting at one, for example, you will want to have an iron, mithril, steel, <laughs> adamant, and then a rune pickaxe for later on. I've already achieved over 41 mining though, so I have already dropped most of my pickaxes. So yeah, now I'll be showing you guys how I use each of these different items to have helped me get my mining level and how I will be getting 64 or higher mining for uh, quests later on. Also, if you guys are like starting to hate on all the skilling, I'm very sorry that even though I said I want to be a one defense peer, all I've been doing recently is uh, skilling, but uh, my argument to that is if I finish all the skilling now, I can plow right through all the quests later on. So you won't, you guys won't be seeing. Uh, never mind. You guys will only be seeing me uh, training combat, uh, PKing, you know all the good stuff, without the skilling, which will slow me down eventually, anyways. So if I do this like right now, holy, hold, oh never mind. It's like, it's, um, anyways, if I do this right now, then it means faster to the peak hang of sorts so yeah I hope you enjoy, guys enjoy that yeah. anyways mining urns you can activate them I mean you can buy them on the GE they're very cheap as you can see I'm price checking it. it is only 172 market price however you will probably have to pay you would probably have to put up like 10% above that or so so that they come in fast if they don't buy at market price you will also be needing some earth runes to activate them because if you haven't activated them yet, they're useless. And now it is a mining rune, mining urn R. I'm not really sure what the R stands for or the NR before it was activated, but whatever. Now we can't use only uh, one of these because it they go. You get you use them over time really fast. So we should also bank our skills necklace that isn't charged get a get a fresh one and yeah uh, this is my mining urn supply so far and how I do it is you collect well you get put them all in your in your yeah in your inventory and then uh, equipped all the equipped everything that you're gonna need like uh, like like these I suggest you uh, wield them so that they're both easier to teleport and you save space and then once you've done that I suggest you clear like two rows so that's uh, eight free items and I suggest you put your pickaxe or pickaxes like if you're starting at one uh, you can put your iron pickaxe here steel mithril adamant and then rune and then drop them along the way or if you haven't used them already also, some of you guys might notice my high supply of maple logs. I that's a that's gonna be an achievement over time. I'm gonna work on 99 fire making, but I will not be making videos about that because I think that you know if I make fire making videos for like two weeks when I get that, then you guys will be bored as hell. So teleport to the crafting guild with your skills necklace. Now walk south, east. 
I believe that's right. And you will be along the clan camp area near this cabbage and onion field. And the mine is right here. Now, if you're starting at one, you want to start here near this uh, copper, or you can mine iron. I mean, tin if you prefer tin. So yeah, uh, mine here, and then just mine your ore and drop it. Now, some of you guys might not like drop mining or power mining, and but. I have to say it is very fast experience and it is easier in the long run because you won't be making a lot of profit off these anyways so what's the point in losing time when you could uh, devote the time saved to making money like real ways as I guess I can say so yeah power mining is you mine an inventory f until your inventory is filled and then you drop it all uh, if you have, if you know how to use mouse keys, then you can use that to your advantage by dropping these faster. However, I'm on a Mac, and even though I do know how to set up mouse keys, they're not very effective, or at least the way I know how to set them up is not very effective. I was getting like, I think I was getting like 5k experience. Well, not 5k, like 3k experience here at low levels. But yeah. So, just drop mine until you've hit 15. Actually, some people might tell you that 21 is better, and it probably is, but I'm just lazy and I like to start at the low. Now, as you can see, there is someone also here. These are what we're going to be uh, mining. These, are, these four rocks here are all iron rocks. And we're going to be mining here with our urns while drop mining. It is a very... It's a pretty good way of getting experience, even though it is very boring. But mining is boring, and it's not AFKable, which is kind of sad because I can't do homework or anything like that, such as when I was training uh, cooking or wood cutting. But however, even though it is more boring, if you train this way and you know save like a couple hours, you can use those other hours. To to chillax, relax, train other skills, make money, whatever. So I believe that putting in the extra effort is worth doing. And I want to find an empty world for you guys so this guy isn't like interfering with us so, so much. I'll, you know, I'll record again when I get... Alright guys, so I hopped a few worlds and I finally found an empty world. Now the reason why I picked Remington Mine to use is because it's pretty big, it's got area, it's got like space, you know. Um, and not as many people bought here as as like um, the Varrock Mine or the Dwarfin Mine Resource Dungeon, which is like where there's a little deposit box in the dungeon. And you can go outside to mine the ores and then bank inside. But there's usually a lot of people botting there, which slows down your profit. So I prefer like this. And all you have to do is mine until your inventory is filled, as I keep saying. Once it's filled, you drop it. And of course, this is a bit, a bit annoying. But it's not. You actually probably drop. I mean, you probably click just as much as if you were banking. Now you do not make profit from this, but even if you wanted to make money from this, you probably don't make that much money considering the iron ores are be below um, 200 JP each. Who wants to waste an extra couple hours training mining when you could drop mine, save time, and then get those other hours saved to spend on other things, or just not to be on RuneScape at all? Usually, uh, like, I haven't thought of it this way, but recently, ever since I started skilling on this account, I have begun, uh, begun, like, thinking like this, you know? So, yeah. Uh, the uh, in your inventory, you can check the mining urn that's in use at the time to see how far, uh, filled it is. Now, when we're mining iron, usually it fills up 
just over 2%, I think it is. I'm, no, I'm not exact, but as you can see, it's just about 2%. And the good thing is about this is mining with uh, mining urns in it gives, well, it boosts your experience per hour. So you also save time with that. When it is full, you get a little message in the chat box, and then you can teleport it away. Now you can t uh, you can only have a maximum of ten full uh, mining urns, but I just teleport them one at a time because this opens up space. And eventually, you know, as you can see, instead of eight inventory spaces now to mine and then drop, I now have nine. Eventually, this goes down and and then you get all the way down. When you've run out of mining urns to use up, you you wanna teleport to Castle Wars or any of these places, but Castle Wars is the fastest for banking. Get more mining urns as I've shown before, and then just come back with your skills necklace. Now it's a very annoying process, but it is fast, I'll give it that. I think I'm achieving roughly twenty five K experience to thirty thousand. So yeah, I've been mining for I mined for a couple hours last night. And t today I've been mining like three or four hours. Uh, I'm really annoyed at it right now, but I think it'll be worth it because if I power train it, I don't have to worry about it later on. Plus, it's getting up my. Uh, I think it looks good. Like having, you know, having high skills looks good. And yeah. So, mine, drop, and when you're. When you get a, when you filled up one of your mining urns, all you have to do is teleport it away. Now you can wait. You can of course wait until you get like ten, which is a maximum full, uh, mining urns or any type of urns actually that you can have. Uh, don't try and put them in your bank because the limit also applies to bank space. So you can't bank like ten mining urns that are filled at a time and then like teleport. 28 of them at a time. No, that doesn't work. Plus, this way is more efficient because you open up an extra space to uh, mine before you drop it. So, yeah. Uh, I hope to get 64 by by tomorrow, maybe. It's a bit of experience. 66 is the real level I need for the quest, but I'm kind of lazy and unlike cooking and woodcutting, I cannot AFK this while training, I have to actually pay attention, which is really annoying, I can't do any homework, I can watch videos in the background, but there's a limit to how, uh, how much concentration that takes up, so yeah, if you are, uh, if you guys are bored, I found that even though I haven't done this in like years, I found that if you aren't listening to like your favorite songs or whatever, if you just are sick of real music, you can use RuneScape's crappy ass music and sound effects. And I found that it has actually helped me concentrate better than not listening to anything at all. Because, you know, after listening to that tenth video of pop, dubstep, techno, your brain kind of gets mushy. And of course, we could always just get off the computer, but who wants to get off RuneScape and not know life, a skill that they hate? I mean, of course, all the pros just like, bam, nine nines, but, <laughs> anyways, um, sorry this video has been a bit boring, but I, I hope that it's been a bit informational for you guys, and, you know, yeah, thanks for watching, and